Zaxxis is an interesting company at this time. We're split into uh, five teams. Uh, my team specifically focuses on all sales outside of uh, the Group M relationship, so selling to independent agencies, uh, clients direct, um, and um, you know just smaller, smaller shops that need uh, help from a managed service perspective that we can provide the expertise around programmatic. Um, and it's pretty sweet because the flexibility on the back end and products that we can use and ulti ultimately drive uh, metrics and performance that folks are looking for. We, we don't have one point solution. There's a lot of flexibility that we provide and expertise on, on what we're using and how we're executing. So when people ask you what you do yeah. and you get to say, what's the most fun part of your job? What is the most fun part of your job? I, I like being on the road. I like traveling and meeting people and being in front of people. I think. Um, you know, we, we've gotten to a point in time in, in this day and age where uh, a lot is email and not much phone communication. So I think, you know, really kind of from a consultative perspective of sitting down, understanding clients' needs and interests, and um, just whiteboarding with them and trying to come up with solutions that uh, that ultimately will, you know, lead to, to success for them is something that that I like. And and you know, just building a personal relationship outside of the typical work environment is important to me. Yeah. Core products that you guys sell are? Sure, so we've got um, quite a slew of products that we offer, um, all programmatic uh, from media, uh, from a media perspective, it's video, mobile, social, display, digital out of home, and digital radio. At the core of it is our data management platform, so really the focus is the centralization of data um, and how we're understanding data and actually segmenting data in order to buy audiences across these various channels in real time. What do you put it all in the mix? Yeah. You know, um, when might it should be a silo, mobile? Yep. Um, when does it need to be fully integrated? Mm -hmm. How do you take a look at reach um, and engagement? Mm -hmm. How is it separated? Should it never be separated? I mean, the easy answer is yes, everything needs to be integrated and everyone needs to hold hands and sing sure. Kumbaya. <laughs> now, what's the reality? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the reality is um, it's kind of both, right? I think mobile um, is a very unique uh, channel. So there's very specific things that you can do in the mobile environment that you can't do in other channels that ultimately help kind of balance all, out the overall media mix. Um, I think it is essential to, uh, you know, overall kind of pl plans. So essentially you could have tactics that mobile is driving up upper frontal trap tactics that could eventually you know, move to video tactics then to display ultimately trying to get someone to convert. I think it, it should always be in the mix, but you could also look at mobile as a siloed kind of offering in the sense of you know around geolocation or certain ty types of strategies that um, you know you're specifically honing in on, on mobile on a mobile offering itself. Everyone is excited about the potential of mobile video. Yep. Especially as we look toward targeting millennials and Generation Z, just because of their consumption and their and their production of video, you know, is greater than all the other demographics, obviously, yeah. right? Um, mobile video becomes kind of an interesting opportunity too, because people complain about the the mobile ad units and the creativity of mobile ad units. Sure. That we're getting a ton of eyeballs to mobile, but the ad dollars aren't following. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's interesting, right? Because um, mobile video, in my opinion, right now, depending on uh, what vertical you're um, executing it for, um, is traditionally more of an upper funnel tactic. Right. Um, and it, it, we're in an interesting space where programmatic has led everyone to the belief that it's more of kind of a bottom of the funnel, driving results. Um, so I think it's it's a mixture of, of leveraging the mobile video in order to get to some sort of end result, but looking at it as more of a top funnel strategy that's not going to drive this, you know, ultimate, uh, you know, download or or credit card sign up that, uh, you know, maybe cheaper other uh, assets could drive in mobile or other channels like the desktop.